Hello, hello. So I have been testing around with the multi-channel audio and surround sound with my PC because uh, I got a uh, surround sound amplifier connected to my computer with HDMI. And I have uh, two other videos about that, one unboxing and how I set it up. And I put links to them in the video description. And I also got a software mixer here from Voice Meter. And I got the potato version of it. So it's uh, the more advanced one. And the only reason that I'm actually using this right now is because of these three here, these virtual inputs. So to speak, um, you can have three of these in potato, in uh, banana, you can have two of them. And in the regular voice meter, I think it's one. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, these three can handle multi-channel audio or surround sound. And the sad part is that these modules, these called inputs, uh, they can only handle two channels, stereo. Uh, I have these virtual uh, cables connected to each of these modules. And the virtual cable themselves can handle multi-channel. But that's kind of useless when the module itself here only can handle two channels. I actually tested this with a uh, multi-channel audio file. So a testing file and every time I just uh, send it to one of these modules, it's just stereo. But when I play the same file with, with connected to these three devices, I get all channels. So yeah, it's kind of sad that these modules can't handle multi-channel audio. So that's why I don't really use any of these right now because you know, they can't handle multi-channel. I only have my microphone here because that's just uh, one channel basically. So yeah, it's kind of sad, but it actually works. Uh, surround sound works with voice meter. Um, the only thing that you need to have them on these three devices. Uh, I kind of have a little bit of an advanced setup here. So yeah, for most people, uh, they will just send it to the desktop, every every audio to the desktop, and uh, don't deal with these. So, but anyway, how I set this up, uh, yeah. So whatever you do, you go into sounds, and you go to the playback tab, and here you have my different devices. Um, for example, this is the amplifier I have connected and you need to set up like the configure speakers and do the all the uh, 5.1s around. Same thing with the virtual cables, you have to set it up for 5.1. By default it's set to stereo. And down here is the... Uh, and these are the virtual cables that uh, I have connected to these ones over here and uh, then at the bottom here these three here the voice meter they correspond to these three in the mixer so my voice meter input is the regular it's a default player and it's the desktop here and then you got the the aux or aux and that's the browser, I set the browser. And then I have the uh, value three here, it says value three. And all my music and stuff, uh, my media players go to this one. So this way I can actually uh, handle, you know, the volume in OBS uh, separately for all of these devices. So uh, games and whatever can be uh, a certain volume music and other and stuff like that so 
yeah so in obs uh right now yeah it's going to be <laughs> i'm recording the desktop but uh i want to show you how i set it up in obs um so in the settings here so first you go to the i go to the audio section here and you can see it's grayed out right now but uh, you can see it says channels it's uh, and right now it says 5.1 so by default it's stereo but i set it to 5.1 and global audio devices i don't use them uh, right now and that's because uh, let's see these three uh, i need to add all of these three in OBS as well um, that doesn't work in OBS because it only you can only add two of them and you need to add them in desktop audio you can't use them on these ones because they will only handle stereo so uh, it's like the banana <laughs> you have like two of these uh, desktop ones and then the other ones are just stereo so I need three of these desktop audio instead of two. So that's why I don't use the global settings. They are disabled. Um, and also in the audio here, uh, if you go to the recording, I mean advanced here, I also select uh, all the channels here. Recording. And that's what you basically do in the settings. Um, so, when it comes to OBS right now, it should be completely blank. So you need to add them actually as sources. Um, so you need the microphone is actually an input. So if you want to add a microphone, you just name it. And then over here you select, for example, my Blue Yeti here. I'm not going to answer and if you want the regular desktop these other three uh, you select audio output capture you name it uh, you can see i already got those three there <laughs> but what you do here that you select it needs to be the input uh, in the regular settings this will show as outputs but it should be actually the input here <laughs> so and of course you select the uh regular the desktop is the uh, regular voice media input so yeah let's just delete these ones right now and right now you can't really see it's only two channels you can see the microphone right now is recording to both channels the two channels so where are the 5.1 channels here? Well, you need to play some audio for them to show up. Uh, so for example, over here, I have a uh, multi-channel file. So it's sort of a test file. So if I play it like this, front left, you front can see center, that it front right, right surround, actually left, surround. plays on all channels. So, yeah, so they show up. Same thing with the browser here. If I actually start to play stuff here. Uh, it shows up. So you can see if I actually play it like this, uh, Front, left. it will play on Front, all the center. channels. Front, right, right, surround, left, surround. But when i use the browser uh, chrome can handle multi-channel audio but not all websites do uh, youtube is a bit of a weird thing uh, you have all these surround sound test systems but they don't work uh, for what i heard with youtube is that it only works on like the uh, tv app and the Chromecast app and whatever, but it five channel audio doesn't really work on the sort of browser version of YouTube. The only time it works 
so I heard on the browser version like this is when you uh, sort of rent a movie you know you can buy movies or rent a movie on uh, YouTube then you get like surround sound but regular videos like this just stereo and that's why I pu pulled up this uh, all these bunch of test files and I tried them all nope you don't get 5.1 surround sound with these regular videos um, so for example if I just play this one uh, if I go in here you can see it's only just playing the regular no, that is the second channel okay but it only uses two channels so uh, it's just the front left and right so yeah it, it these test videos doesn't really work so now it's supposed to be surround left no it's just front front left and now it's front right even though it's supposed to be you know surround right so it doesn't really work with uh, YouTube surround sound not for regular videos at least so th that's kind of one reason I'm doing this video because I want to try it myself if I actually record in multi-channel as you can see with the, this file let's minimize the browser it front actually works left, front center front right right uh, so yeah surround sound doesn't really work on YouTube but Chrome itself can handle multi-channel so for example i have the, have this web page uh, i can put a link to it in the video, video description um, so if i actually play front this right. one it's the same front file center. front right right surround you can see that browser surround. actually can handle multi-channel so yeah it's it's kind of nice so it's actually a kind of a youtube thing that it can't um, put out sort of multi-channel here so it's sort of a premium feature uh, for movies and stuff so yeah youtube can't handle multi-channel but uh, chrome can uh, so yeah chrome can handle it and people say that uh, well, you need to actually just uh, right click here on the on the shortcut to it and then you need to add a bunch of stuff here at the end. I tried all of them. Doesn't work. Or doesn't work with YouTube at least. So uh, it doesn't really matter. So the tricks where you should add a bunch of stuff to the link here. Don't do it. Doesn't work. Uh, at least it doesn't work anymore with the latest uh, Chrome browser. But yeah, that's kind of it. It's kind of a test video here. Um, Multi-channel works on Windows and it works on OBS as well. Yeah, just a test video to see how things work. So catch you later.